What up guys, it's Jen Drucker from The Real Goats and today I have an exciting episode featuring Eric Fisher. Let's get into it. And action. For you guys who don't know who Eric Fisher is, he's a world-renowned hairdresser and he owns an academy in Wichita, Kansas called Eric Fisher Academy. So anybody out there looking to get into cosmetology, please, by all means, look them up. That's the place to go. My cousin Aaron Rodgers went to his school and is a hairdresser himself and got his license through him and now works alongside Eric on a day-to-day -day basis. Aaron had let me know for some time now that Eric had wanted to meet me and he offered to allow me to use their photo studio if I ever needed it for anything. I hit my cousin Aaron and I let him know that my wife had been asking me to get a headshot for her fellowship application that she's about to do. So I thought it was a great opportunity to not only you know, get to see the studio, but also meet Eric. I went in a little bit early before uh, my wife's hair appointment at the Academy Salon and I wanted to go meet Eric and just kind of see the studio and set up lighting and kind of get prepared for my wife to come in after she got her hair done. My cousin Aaron took me through the entire academy and it was super cool. Along the walls, uh, there was a bunch of photography. It was just lying throughout the entire salon. When I was looking at it, I kept thinking, damn, this is really amazing photography. These were all Eric's photos that he had taken. And not only that, but it's like student models inside of these photos and the people that did the hair and makeup were students from his academy. And I'm looking at this thing like, God damn, this stuff looks like it belongs in New York Fashion Week or uh, you know, Paris Fashion Week. Like this is something that you would see in those worlds. So I, it made me really excited to, to meet Eric. Heard so many great things about you. I appreciate it. I was looking at your workout there. It was sick. Shit, crazy. Your work is sick too. Shit is fabulous. Wow. You know, Eric introduced himself. He was such a, like, he had this cool charisma about him. I've never met him, never heard him speak or anything. And he had this, he had the artist's essence. He had this presence about him that you knew that he was a very creative person. Make it first. Make it first. Allison. Allison, nice. Yeah. Brooke. Brooke, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And uh, this, this, is this is unique. Hi. Hey, any anything you want to get, let us know, and we can separate whatever you want to do. Okay? You tell me. Is this too low a light? Because I could turn on the overhead. Okay. All right. Well, we're just gonna be flying on the walls today. I'm just like experiencing it, and well, then we'll see what happens. Cool. One of the things that I noticed off the bat was the talent Brooke that he was directing inside his photo session with her. I think he was just trying to have fun for the day and just like take photos. I thought it was so cool to hear him That's and watch so him cool. direct her in a way that helped her and made her more comfortable and allow her to mess up and not be so much in her head. Put that one up, just slide it through some of this maybe. Good. Spread the fingers out a little bit more. Good. Nice job, Brooke. I'm gonna let you guys watch him for a little bit, be on the fly on the wall with me. The whole time I was just kind of wanting to listen and study what he was doing. And the things that I noticed was the micro details that he's giving his subject, the small adjustments that he's making that end up helping not only build her confidence, but make a better photo. Okay, now I want you to go back against the wall like you did before. Good, turn your head around. Nice. Bend that elbow just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. A little bit more. Nice, nice. Keep turning around slowly. Lean against the wall. Get as close to the wall as you can. Good, 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 good. Nice, nice. Beautiful, beautiful. We're back. Yeah, so I okay. see. Let's go ahead and take that foot down. Okay. And do, uh, can you put that foot? No, never mind. <laughs> Let's do two more. Like this against the wall. 
You don't have to, you can keep your feet low. That's all right. Just spread them out like this. Yeah, this looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. I love it. Okay. All right. Just get as close as you can. Yeah, that's good. Just spread your arms out like this as much as you can. Yeah, there you go. That's nice. Like a prison break, you know? Good. Chin down a little bit more. Good. Good. Stretch your neck out just a bit. Good. These are good. These are really good. You never know. Put that arm a little bit further that way. And put the other one like this. Yeah, there you go. That cool. Nice. Very nice. Good. Okay. Be up for, here, baby. Watch out so let's I can keep sit it up down. for right now, okay? Because I like it. We'll just pull this off. And you try to buy something. What we no? might do. There. We might just do this wide or something, okay. you know. So why don't you go slip on? So I'm just gonna have you wear this top, okay? okay. And this top is pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. And this is a yeah, this is a small. And then wear your black biker shorts with this. Okay. Okay. And that you know that kind of comes up through the shoulders, so. You know, we started chopping it up and we were just kind of vibing, bouncing ideas off of each other and kind of finding things that we could collaborate in the you future I mean? on. There's so, there's so many uneducated models that go out to LA yeah, and yeah. you're casting them and they just don't even know how to do anything. You know, you, know? you could do a course in that, you know. The thing is, yeah. but we, we, my, 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 we could produce it for you because. The thing is, I, I, what I could do is teach young videographers how to yeah. hear their voice and their vision. I'm better at that. Yeah. You know, I'm not I'm not trained in the I'm gonna deal with this female talent, tell her how to move right. and make her feel comfortable. Where like that is a, a specific talent that you have that you could be a major like fashion I like, uh, I like the way he's thinking videographer <laughs> or filmmaker or whatever. You know what I mean? You could you could go from that to filmmaking pretty easily because you you wouldn't even have to know you already know you don't have to know the fucking camera. Yeah, you yeah. Know, to go into filmmaking, yeah, yeah. you just hire a fucking fire yeah, that yeah. you love, and then you. Isn't that the truth? You man? know what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. all you need. And but your the talent of talking, like speaking and communicating, is very hard to. It, it is everything. You know? you know, and that's the difference. I I learned that I was doing a makeup job in Hawaii for this guy named John Sahag, who was a famous hairdresser at the time at a place on Madison Avenue. So I said, John, I, I mean, I'm just a kid, but you didn't like any of those models. He says, let me tell you, Eric. I said, some of those girls are beautiful. He says, the models have to have presence. And you'll know that when you get a little older, a little bit more experienced. I always thought a beautiful girl would make a beautiful model. Nothing's further from the truth. Mm -hmm. You get a girl that maybe is unique looking, but she can give you those kind of facial expressions, move. And, he, she has a relationship with a camera, you know, which is, man, like I've been trained. This girl's my assistant at work. She's a hairdresser. She went to this school and I saw her. I said, you know, you're really beautiful, right? She's the sweetest thing. I said, let me coach you, bring you on. And then, uh, you know, she's kicking ass. Oh, yeah, she's. Do, do you ever do you ever break down, like, do you ever spend time in posts with her and, like, break down why you like a certain thing? Uh, that's a great idea, but I never do. Because, like, even watching you talk about spacing when you kept shift telling her shift, I was like, he's looking for space. And I don't, yeah. I'm not even, talk, like, I'm yeah. not even, like, used to modeling. But you get like, I, yeah. I understand he's looking for space because that's what's going to make a better photo. So, that's, like, that small tip, they'll already, that's the thing that they'll be like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I need to open up my arm before you even say it. And that's the thing that will ev elevate them, and I know that's what you're doing. You know, that is you so know? true. And that's, that would be a really good thing to sit down with, not just the model, but the makeup artist, the yeah. hairdresser, you know, and everybody and say, hey, see, see this, see, you know, this, why this doesn't look good or right. why I'm making this a little more contrasty. Right. Right. My wife eventually showed up and she was ready to go and Eric was like, oh my gosh, you're beautiful and you got so much hair. Yeah, oh, you've got yeah. a lot of hair too. Hair you're too hair young hair. to have that gray and oh my gosh, what are you doing with that? Is he, is he giving it to no, you? No, that's not me. <laughs> it's been, I know it's been a while, but I, one of my co-residents, his wife, um, works at Beige Salon, so a while ago I had her, I was like, I just want it, I just don't want the grays. You don't do anything crazy, just like, yeah. the grays. Yeah, you can do it with a demi permanent. it would be nothing, because you're so young looking. Yeah. I'm not that young, Here, but I'll thank take you. you. 
Oh, you look great. <laughs> really good. Uh, he's wrapping up on a shoot. So then oh, he'll, yeah. once he's done with that. Do you that, want to start with some beach waves? And, uh, yeah. So did you, Amber, did you make up? Were you mm -hmm. okay with it? Oh, yeah. Good. That's I told her not too and much. Brought, uh, we use one of my lipsticks, so then we could just... Okay, good, good, mm -hmm. good. Let's do a little bit more lashes. I'm going to have Allison cool. just go the lashes a little heavier. Close your eyes for me. I'm going to have her just line the lashes a little okay. bit more and open. Yeah, I just told her. I told her, to me, it's going to look like way too much because I never wear I know. makeup. She doesn't wear makeup ever. Yeah. yeah. Well, you don't need to. you got a great face. But, but she, I said it just, it's, you know, like a headshot to go in an application. So it just has to look yeah. professional and she, she did great. That's cool. So. I'll have Allison just, she, Amber's like, she was. My cousin, Aaron, did her hair, which was really nice of him. I wasn't expecting that. And uh, I thought, I already knew Aaron was, a, Aaron is a, an amazing hairstylist. So that was amazing that he was able to do that for us. And Gabby looked absolutely beautiful. While she was getting her hair done, Eric and I set up the lighting and his studio and he let me use all his stuff. He had some cool pro photo uh, strobes. As we got done setting it up, we got into the conversation of modeling again. And I want you to listen to what we're talking about and this idea of how people have to learn to grow that confidence and strength in themselves. You know, if you, like even if you teach a model how to, to look a certain way, you know, to act a certain way, and uh, because that, that to me is, I shoot beautiful faces that can't move. Like the thing about Brooke, she's starting to go like this. Mm -hmm. You know, she's getting it, you know. It takes, it takes a while, but some people never get it, you know. Yeah. Be the most beautiful I was working with. Why do, you, why do you think that is, they don't get it? I just, just don't think they, they just, they don't have it in them, you know. So now what I try to do is I'll send out like some fashion films and I'll say, watch this. Model has to be about movement and they have to be about expression. Those two things. Learn your body. Don't have like no straight arms, have negative spaces, you know, with your face, chin down, neck out, you know, part your lips, just some easy things to get them started. Mm -hmm. Once they get in the flow, then like Brooke. You weren't in your head as much. There. She's just, you know, really doing good. So once they get in the flow, it's much better. I'm always in my head. Because I'm still so new to it that, like, I just always get in my head. Yeah. But, what, what are you thinking about when you're there? Um, I, I don't know. My problem is I've watched other people shoot for Eric, so I, like, compare myself to them, and I'm trying to, like, almost mimic them. And like, I'm trying to, like, almost mimic them and, like, be as good as them. So, like, that's what I'm thinking about in my head, like, mm -hmm. the things that they do and, like, trying to make myself as good as they do. I, I think having a mental model of the kind of behavior or the kind of movement, you know? Eric, you're saying she needs a mental model. Yes. That's a different, you know, that's different. Like I'm comparing myself because I know what looks right yeah. versus like they're that's, better than me. That's a, that's a good point. Yeah, there you is, know. I don't know. There's one girl, Tenille. Like I've modeled with her a couple times and she has been doing it for a long time. Mm -hmm. Whereas I just started like maybe six months ago right. trying to get into it. Um, and like I'll watch her and so like I, and I judge myself because I'm not as good as her, but then I like watch her and try to like mimic what she does. Mm -hmm. So it's like I compare myself, but also I'm my biggest hater. So right. I like the whole time I'm like, I'm not as good well, as her, I don't look as good as well, her. Well, you know one thing that could help, sorry to interrupt you. No, you're one right. thing that I think that is really important as an artist, as you learn, is that the comparison is what drives you to stop actually working. Because you, you, you're comparing something that, she might be doing this for eight years, and you're in six six months, like she might have not found it till yeah. year seven. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm so saying? True. And like you don't know how long it took her to find that thing. And that's what happens a lot with social media. Yeah. And what I notice about videographers that come to me and they say, Why am I not as good as this yet? I'm like, bro, I've been doing this for damn near ten years. Yeah. You know, like, and I just got the confidence to, to be able to, like, it, do all this stuff. And the know? key like, is to be hungry enough to still want to do it, to yeah. practice yeah. it every day, you know, like just being, you got to read, uh, have you read Rick Rubin's book on creativity? I haven't. It's the best book. Really? You will shit your pants. You really? this. It's unbelievable. It helped me so much with just my thought process mm -hmm. about organi organizing the kind of looks I want to do and everything, but it's yeah. a killer. It's, it's great. Ten sessions in, he's, he's giving you praise. Like he's seen everybody. 
Yeah. And you know what I mean? Just killed it today. Really good. Thank you. And I always say too, you know, James, I shoot a lot of film. I shoot a lot. I probably had that shot, you know, 30 minutes before we quit because I just knew it. But I still like to shoot because you have these, the good thing about photography, I don't know, videography, but you have these unexpected masterpieces for whatever reason. Like when you're painting, you're, you're specific, but when you're taking a picture, all of a sudden the model does this or something, you're like, oh my God. That was it. Boom, that's it. I don't need to shoot another shot. There's, there's, yeah, there's definitely moments in the, in the like the retake, take two, take three, take four on a scene where you do feel it for sure. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. hard to like, people say, let's get a safety. And I've heard other professionals talk about the, the word getting a safety is like so wrong. Yeah. To, to say, let's get another one for safety because you've already got it. Yeah. You should say, let's do one better. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's, you know. I'm sure that'd be okay. All right, shoot the camera. Look beautiful, and I thought it was one to picture with her. With her. Oh, yeah. Some of the things that, like, I was using in there okay. were this amazing kind of like U-shaped yeah. reflector that goes underneath and fills the face. It catches the light that's being strobed, bounces it back into their skin and underneath their chin to kind of uplighting them, filling those shadows. When you do that beauty dish and it kind of comes down on top of them, it'll create a shadow under their neck and then that reflector just kind of fills that stuff in. The issue I was having when I was taking the photos was that I didn't have a, an edge light or a hair light and her hair so dark and I didn't think about to kind of give her suggestions on her wardrobe, so that was my fault, but her hair is so dark, her jacket was black, so they blended together. I decided, well, maybe I can edge her out with some more reflectors, so I put a couple of reflect silver reflectors on the, the back edge of her to see if it could catch more of that light and bounce it back towards her. As I took the photos, I realized it still wasn't enough, so I went ahead and put the other pro photo up with no diffusion, it was just a hard strobe. And once I took it, it was really kind of what it needed so you can actually see her hair and allow her to kind of pop from the background. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice, nice, very nice. The, ha the hair stands out too, now, yeah. which is great. I'm trying to just tone it down a tad bit. So it feels like it, she's getting a shine or something around her head. You wanna, uh, you wanna grab that one? How do you get... Uh... No, I think that's okay. I like that. I think that's okay. healthy when they have that, they call that the, the T-zone. Oh, okay, it's okay. Good. okay. Yeah, and her, look how blue her eyes are. Mm -hmm. No, I think that looks good. Come on, baby. Is, is it too much yeah. of a beauty shot to have? I don't uh, think so. Okay. I don't think so. No, I, I would push it a little. I think those look great. Yeah, mm -hmm. great, great job. Both of you. Maybe you missed your mark. You know, maybe you should be a mom <laughs> instead of a, a doctor. Myself going into the session, I wanted to give her uh, a nice pop on her face and a back hair light and keep it easy. It's supposed to be a headshot for her application. It's not supposed to be <laughs> overly done. So she kept telling me like, we're doing way too much for, for what she needs. Uh, but that was the fun part about it. Like I never get to photograph my wife that way. So it was really cool. I'm starting on the first photo here and you can see this is where I just started to take the photos with the strobe above her and this is kind of before we started to bring uh, the light underneath her eyes and we decided to take her coat off here and try it with just her uh, with just her shirt kind of went through here a little bit we adjusted just a little bit of stuff again she's looking really great here and we, I kind of switched directions on her made her turn the other way to see how she played the other side of it. We decided to throw the jacket back on. We were starting to see her hair a little bit more. And I still kept thinking like, there's something just missing about it. And we started to say, well, what about that hair light? And this is where it kind of comes on here. You can see I just had it up and it was really, really hot. So meaning uh, there was a very bright shine to it. So I redirected it, toned it down and uh, found a balance that I really liked and just kind of took the remaining of the shots with this exposure. Again, I wasn't mad about this. It just, it brought so much attention to the top of her head and it was like making me stare at her hair versus her face. So 
I kind of brought it down and edged more of the back of her head and kept the light as it, as it was. And, and she started to look absolutely amazing here. And we ended up landing on uh, this photo here. This is after some touch-ups, bringing up her exposure just a little bit more. And uh, yeah, she actually looked great. We switched her shirt and uh, it felt like this was the one. You know, it went from, uh, you know, these other photos, you know, already felt like they needed to kind of bring up exposure. So that's what I adjusted here. And she uh, she looks great, you know, I'm gonna play with it a little bit more. See what it's like to come back down with the exposure maybe. Maybe somewhere in there, that feels pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I, I, I went in and, you know, just like touched up a few things and, and now I'm just loving this with her white jacket, with her white shirt actually kind of makes her feel like she's more in this, uh, doctor world, very clean, very clinical. So love the warm background, love her warm face, love her eyes and I'm absolutely happy with how, how things came out. Some of the things that I learned and I took away from this experience were the way that he was coaching his models, the way that he was speaking with her, trying to find things, and just in general, like the the great reminder of continue to shoot, even if you got the shot. That was one of the cool takeaways of it. Just keep shooting, yeah, even if you got nice. it, because you might discover something new, something better, yeah, something unique. And he inspired me and reminded me about that process. Even, I, I mean, I could take that and use that in video production. I don't need to use that in just photography. Remembering that the creative process isn't one that can be just like structured, but is found. And you, you can't just say you gotta do this, this, and this, and then now it's creative. You can set up and get the elements, but you have to just do this repetition and find it and become comfortable, discover the look through experimentation Turn your face and that for way. him oh, is i think beautiful. what's exciting about what he does in his photography until next time um man i'm hot as hell in there don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button uh go follow our social medias all that fun stuff we got merch you know people the real ghost.com right go hit us up say that we want something or dm us or dm me or put them Put like a message in here and say, hey, I need a hat. You know, last time I had a red one. This one's a, a black furry one. These are just like the basics. We got some more coming soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all the support. Happy filming. I got to take a shit. Sheesh.